Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, today we have interesting, incredible news and you already know it's coming to the guys at Blender. And so, the news is that, you know, the guys at NVIDIA have decided to become funding members of the Blender development. And the cool thing with this is they're not just planning on being, you know, development of funding members, but they have just gone ahead to say you know we're going to amp this thing up and they are now the second patron members that are actually contributing to the development of blender now this makes a lot of sense i mean following epic this makes a lot of sense because at this point we already know that nvidia would not be contributing as patrons they would not be contributing anything less than 120k I think Euro, which would enable the developers or which would enable Blender Foundation hire more developers to develop the software. Already we've been seeing a lot of strides that are making their way to Blender 2.81. 2.8 was a huge success and I also believe 2.81 would be a, you know, a much more bigger success. And you know, with all of these funds coming, we are seeing some improvement. Previously, Blender was seen as a software which was a gimmick, it was just for fun. Over time, we'll begin to see that a lot of things are beginning to come to Blender. I'm very, very excited about this news. I'm also very excited about the fact that people are beginning to accept Blender for what it is. Blender itself actually has EV, which is something that is really, really incredible. Now, I'm thinking about you know the whole tie-in with Nvidia and the huge success that Blender is going to end up being. Knowing fully well that we have Eevee which is much more of a real-time rendering stuff and we know Blender already supports CUDA and OpenCL and I believe with NVIDIA GPUs now and you know with NVIDIA being part of the Patreon, the development is going to be way better. We already know that Blender 2.81 actually have the rts optics back and for nvidia tuning you know if you're making use of nvidia gpus but right now i don't really know if it was just contributed by the company or if it was the developers that did it but i believe them coming together right now it's going to make a whole lot of sense there's also a couple of companies that have actually gone ahead to contribute to the development of blender on different levels in the corporate gold level the corporate silver level corporate bronze level and also diamond titanium platinum and gold so just so so many amazing stuff coming to blender i'm very very excited about this news and i cannot wait to see what the guys at blender would be coming up with ubisoft previously said that they will be having an incubation center where they will use blender to test out the whole animation thing they're trying to bring out for 2020 we've seen ubuntu coming we've seen intel valve and so on and so forth so it's really really interesting and really amazing to see a lot of people you know magnet themselves towards blender and also check out the excellent workflow that Blender has. And the fact that this is a cross-platform software, it's a free one, kind of gives me a lot of joy. You know, the fact that, you know, you can just think about the software and go down there, download it, use it for whatever you want. And all of these companies are jumping into the ship and trying to make this software way better for artists like you and me. You know it gives me so much joy right now a lot of people are thinking that you know with all of these things going on blender might be up for sale which is totally not true this is not going to happen anytime soon and it's definitely not going to happen i don't see this happening ever so tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section do you make use of blender do you love blender also if you want to support blender or have a copy of blender so that you can test it out link to where you can find all of these is going to be in the description if you're new to blender i want to see the features that are coming to 2.81 link to finding that is also going to be in the description we already covered a video about the features coming to blender and at the same time if you want to check out the features that exist in blender 2.8 link is also going to be in the description so you can check all of those things out we also have a couple of tutorials that might benefit you and you can also go ahead and check those ones out in the channel and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace